everybody, my name is Lena and welcome to this video because I'm so fucking bored already of being in lockdown. We can only get out of our house to go to the grocery store or to the hospital, so things are kind of serious here. <laughs> but just to brighten things up, I think that I have told you already that this is only my TBR shelf. So today I wanted to show you what books that I have here that you may think that are interesting. So now that I have more time to read, <laughs> I would maybe pick them up. So let me show it to you. So as you can probably see, I have like a gigantic tower up there. <laughs> this here is what I usually have in my videos is a kind of lamp, but in the form of a book, which I love. It was a present and I loved it. And the other thing that I have here are basically these two little guys. They were a gift from one of my best friends. She was in Japan in December and she brought these two guys with her. This is mine because it's, it's actually lilac. <laughs> what you basically do with this is that you paint their left eye and you ask for a wish. So when the wish is basically complete, you will paint their other eye and toss them into the fire. <laughs> but we're not going to toss them into the fire. <laughs> I mean, they're so cute. So let's get to the books now. We have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, Half a King by Joe Abercrombie, La Saga de la Ciudad Sangre by Jorge Cuadra Pérez. This is actually one of the books that I'm not currently reading, but I DNF'd it for a while. I was at page, I don't know, 100 and something, and needed a break because it's quite of a dense book. Then we have here Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. I have already read this book, but I'm waiting to reread it because I basically remember nothing about it. Then we have here Arm of These Things by Josiah Bancroft. Then, starting with the tower, we have here The Wheel of Osheim by Mark Lawrence. The Dreaming Void by Peter F. Hamilton. That spine is magnificent. Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I've been thinking about reading this because I wasn't that much of a fan of Red Rising, but lately this has been calling out to me. City of Light by Kerry Arthur. The Peripheral by William Gibson. Places in the Darkness by Chris Brockmire. Rule by Hugh Howey. The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. I kind of hate this cover, but I've heard that the book is really good, actually. Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence. Scarlet Ties by David Hare. The series is so underrated. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christoph. I don't think I'm going to read this book anytime soon because I hated the second one. And I have a feel that this book is going to be exactly the same as the other two books. Although I really enjoyed the first one. Eh? Don't get me wrong. Ghost Grave by Jay Kristoff and Hyperion by Dan Simmons. I'm so excited to read this book. The Queens of Ines Lear by Tessa Grattan. Raven Cry by Ed McDonald. Rojo by Carlos Sisi. The Winter of Swords by Aaron Band. The Starless Sea by Erin Morgensen. Grim Solas by Ben Gali. And one of the volumes in Lucifer by Mike Carey. Okay, let's just start with those middle books here because there's no way that I can get a better angle of this shelf. Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Ronhorse. The White Tree by Edward P. Robertson. Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. And Full Moon by Jim Butcher. Let's get into this tower, shall we? So here we have The Sun Rising by Samantha Shannon, Jade City by Fonda Lee, which I really want to read because I've been on a really weird kick on Asian inspired fantasy, so probably going to happen soon. Bow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson, This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada, Foundryside by Robert Jackson Bennett, Seal Crow Saga by Paul Kruger, Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim, Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan, and The Midwitch Cuckoos by John Witham. The Library at Mount Char, The Fireman by Joe Hill, A Memory Called Empire by Arkady Martin, The Last Mortal Bond by Brian Stavley, Hunting Prince Dracula by Kerry Maniscalco, 
El Factor Sobrenatural by Edgar Cantero, The Waking Fire by Anthony Ryan, Just One Them Thing After Another by Jody Taylor, Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence, The Three Body Problems by Sishin Liu. Just as in the previous one, let me show you those books that are on the middle first. The Thousand Names by Django Wexler, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, Wrath of Empire by Brian McClellan, and The Familiar by Mark C. Danilowski. The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. This is the same author as The Shadow of the Fox, by the way. Revelation Space by Alistair Reynolds. The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. Default by Peter Kleins. Shadow Black by Sebastian de Castell with its beautiful sprayed blue edges. A Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Red Knight by Miles Cameron. And Valor by John Wynne, The Inquisition by Taram Mataru, Final Girls by Riley Sager. You're going to notice that I barely have any thrillers here and that's because I prefer to listen to them and not to buy them in physical copy because it's really hard to reread a thriller. City of Blades by Robert Jackson Bennett, The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula Le Guin, The Lost Puzzler by E.L. Kless, The Twelve Kings of Sherakai, or The Twelve Kings as this edition says, by Bradley Bullier, The Gutter Prayer by Gareth Hanrahan, Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, Seven Eves by Neil Stephenson, Time of Contempt by Andrei Sapkowski, and Cirque du Fric by Darren Shaw. Volume 1 of Sandman and Volume 2 because I've been wanting to review this. The House of Hades by Rick Riordan, Soul of the Sword by Julie Kigawa, Devil's Dream by Shane Silvers, The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson, Diamantine by Andrew Rowe, Heart of Flames by Nikki Paupero, Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimborough, A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kammerer, Tiamat's Wrath by James S. A. Corey, The Wolf of Orangero by K. S. Bijoso, Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan, The Last Smile in Thunder City by Luke Arnold, Broken Angels by Richard Morgan, The Day of the Triffids by John Windham, The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green, The Broken Eye by Brent Wicks, and finally, books two and three in the Darren Sean saga. This is Tunnels of Blood and The Vampire's Assistant. So yeah, those were basically all the books that I have on my TBR shelf. Let me know if there are any books that I need to prioritize because now I really have time to read. So yeah, that's going to be all for today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.